Plains Games with Jay. Just kidding. One more Just episode. Kidding. One more episode, probably. <laughs> all right. That's all there is to it? Come on, there wasn't a single concrete description in there. Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics. Miss Morose saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Ah, oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations. To die, to die. This is the true tragedy. Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. How can the world just end? It's it's the world. Calm down. It's okay. There's no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Togami Corporation, which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You've been into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Hey, hey, so what do you think happened to the Togami family? Oh hmm? my god. Hey, even Jay can get this one. Yeah, uh, it's obviously the second one. There you go. <clears throat> Correct. Well done, Jay. <laughs> But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored. Wait, I couldn't help it. Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? Get a couple game overs. Till then, you're just going in circles. Oh, my God. So no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died, even the distant relatives. The Togami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop. And said with such authority, a peasant would dare challenge us, the avatar of divine punishment. You must learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. They couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. Hold, hold on, that doesn't make any sense. Huh? I don't make sense. There's no way that happened a year ago. I mean, we only came to the school a few weeks ago. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till now, up till then? Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Oh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. That would explain why we were in the second second uh, floor or second year rooms, right? Okay. Wait, what? Two years ago? What is that? <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. How are we supposed to answer? Uh, I just don't know what's going on anymore. Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. The memories that were stolen from us. If what Junko says is true, if we first came here two years ago, the, but the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so. So the memory she took from us. Uh. The entire past? That's a bit much, right? No. Whoops. <laughs> remember them talking about their families and everything? 
Um, let's see. Look, it's the last episode. I'm allowed to have one final cl classic mishap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Think about it. What uh, memories that she had to have taken? We don't know about the tragedy, which is obvious. Is that the one? That's not the only thing, right? Our life at Hope's Peak, because we've been here for the f we've been here for two years. Okay. Yes. If we accept that what you say is true, then you, we've lost we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. No, 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 nope, no. I mean, no matter what anyone says. Uh, <laughs> Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. <laughs> Seriously, this routine again. We lost two years worth of memories? That's right. We've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, fuck. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That's, that's not possible. I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it. But that's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe. I want it to be impossible. But if it's the truth... Then we have to accept it. Oh, now I have to, I have to convince Yasuhiro for about something again. God. I mean, it wouldn't be a final episode without convincing Yasuhiro of something. Yeah. Uh. Two years worth of memories. I think I know which one it is. Uh, I can never lose something like that. We've been living here, living here for two years. Hell no, that's impossible. I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything. Uh, I haven't gone to a single class. No, that's not right. Uh, okay, hold on, wait, wait. So which, which, I, I, which bowl did you pick? I had the locker pocket. What's the bowl? locker pocket? That's very. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's. <laughs> well, maybe you should have. Uh, yeah, I, I should. I just got read. No, but that's a very easy mistake to make if you just think, oh yeah, the lock, the his notebook, You're right? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just imagining Makoto throwing the pocketbook at him. He's like, what is this? It's I'm sorry, I meant to throw this one. And Yoko's throws dad? What? <laughs> Hero, there's something I'd like to ask, uh, like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in a locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. I've never seen this notebook before in my life. What's it? Was it? Is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. What the? This is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember even writing this thing. No, no way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak, but somehow you forgot all about it. Lies. It's all one big lie. I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. Hmm. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. Oh, the it, one we saw earlier that yes, you threw at your yes, face? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for not throwing at my face, Makoto. Mm -hmm. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hiro, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories. <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery is solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here. Shit, man, I've never been to a funeral. Hell yeah! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do, but then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. 
Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves. I'm sick of expositioning all this shit. Figure out what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Where our memories come apart? Is she talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? I can only think of one time. Just after I set foot in the main hall for the first time, and that was... Oh. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was thinking of the other entrance ceremony. Never mind, never mind, never mind. There never mind. was no other entrance ceremony! Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... Ding, ding, ding! The moment I lost my memories, I can't think of any time other than that day. The day when I blah blah blah, well, I don't know what's on on it. <laughs> when I first came to the gates of the school and saw that nipple clock and stepped foot into the main hall, when I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow, you still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. I assumed not much time had passed since I collapsed into the main hall. Uh -huh, but it said two whole years had gone by. Bye bye. Oof. The reason it felt so short was because our memories of the time in, in between had been completely removed. You got it, honey. Two years of memories, poof, gone. Which means, of course... When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? Boo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> yup, that's what they reveal! You were all such close friends, you spent two years together, and then you started killing each other. <sighs> I don't know why, but I, I'm like, it's just hitting me now. I'm like, wow, that's really fucking yeah, it's sad. incredibly depressing, yeah. <laughs> and it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated. <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale. Even if you left now, there's nothing you can do to fix it. You're the one who set, up, uh, set things up to be like this. I love you all so much. What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it. All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair. I plan to bring despair to all mankind. The ultimate despair? All mankind? Let's go back in time two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Oh boy, it was just the worst. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your lives. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event on... An event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. What are you? Hmm. Or what are you? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history, and the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say... It was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. What in the paranoia agent? <laughs> Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. 
Okay, so let's get back to the story. Hobo's Peak had taken so much damage, you guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then, something super neat happened. Now pay attention, because this is important, I'm only going to say it once. So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter. Okay, that makes sense. That's right, it was transformed into a shelter. Ah, uh, I said it twice. Now someone was responsible for that transformation, for creating what would eventually become your prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? The one who, yeah. The Prime Minister, yep. Shinzo Abe. No, he's not the Prime Minister anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it could have only been the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to make that promise. To say that we were willing to live in this school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope, that's why we all agreed to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. Whoa. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. I'm sure true JRPG fans are gonna, or like I say true, like older JRPG fans are gonna hate me for saying this, but I'm like, this is some real Persona 5 art right here. <laughs> <laughs> They're just shaking. No! They're like, no! This came out before Persona 5! Obviously. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So it was a. Oh, wait, she's doing the cute voice. Oh. So I was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's Monokuma. We came a cage and made it impossible for you to escape despair. I got like five voices for this character. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked up the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. You mean, we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. Once you'd finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro had come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment when you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be part of it. You only let us live so we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? What the mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world, well, that was... Uh... Huh? Huack? Heack? Yes, Huack. Hi, Jack. Duh. Okay, 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 okay. Huack. Duh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Hi, Wack. <laughs> Hi, Lack. Hi, Cack. There we go. There's just like f the first five letters, and Jay's like, what is. Th what? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? Uh-huh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. To show the world the murders taking place at the school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair! When I said climax, that was what I was talking about! The world watched as you fell into despair, and began to kill each other one after another. 
Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. You expelled them? I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take. Give and take? You're so full of shit! And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies. I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates. Sorry, that's a lie. I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. Then that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? You solve the mystery but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? See, discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair too, like right fucking now! Truth, full of despair? That's... Not to mention all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? Then we... We've been murdering each other? For nothing? And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out? We weren't just random strangers, either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. Too soon. We get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already. So help us. I'll do anything. Just help me. A peasant begging for his life. How delightful. We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but... But there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth. Until you see it with your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now, is that what you're saying? If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Well, you better not. You can go out into that world and you're all goners for sure. Trust me, I'm not lying about any of this. Well, even if it's all true, I refuse to give in. I refuse to lose to you. For the sake of everyone you've killed. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them. I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant. Say what you want about hope, but we're all creatures of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally. Hell yes, that's funny as shit! No, this isn't just some game to us. It's murder, plain and simple. You stole our memories, invented reasons for us to do it, you push us all into a corner. It's all your fault. You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? We don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. What? You guys so full of hope and me so full of despair. 
I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish Hope, well, then... I'll consider that a win for me and punish everyone on the side of Hope. Even if it's just one person? Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you still got the upper hand in all this. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here until you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. What? You mean we just... We'd have to just live here? She's saying she'll let us live! If you're not happy with that, then go ahead and punish me and make your way to the outside world. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed. Wait a sec, I just got hit with an inspiration bomb. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't going to dig that at all. So, here's what'll happen. One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment. What? You, you can't just... Do you mean to say, you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide who's going to have to suck it down. Makoto, you're up! M me? Yeah, you've been acting out, causing all kinds of trouble. I hate you. So let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. If a single person votes for hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Sacrifice me? B but that's... What? Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friends? No, that's not it. It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. G guys? It's so beautiful. Your lovely faces eroded by despair have come together as one. Besides, Kyoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> Kyoko. One person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So who do you think's gonna give in? Who's despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair. We're not gonna lose to you. So boring. Stubborn till the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life. The final vote. This is it. The ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. That's not really living at all. Okay. I have an idea what it could be. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. That, oh, this is interesting. Wait, that, I can respond to that? By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Do I need to do something for every person? If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Hmm. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside where only death and despair are waiting. Hmm. 
So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Kyoko's the only one I don't have a response to. Okay, this is interesting. There's no hope left in the world when you. Oh, that's, there's that's no it. hope left in the world <laughs> when you sleep. It's on a bed of despair. The world is in despair. You are in despair. If I don't do something, every oh shit, it's punishing me for not choosing anything. Fuck. Okay. You claim there's no hope left in the world, but if despair is contagious, like you say, then so is hope. I'll use my own hope to plant seeds of hope inside everyone else. Okay. Hold on. What? It's it's the group photo. Hold oh, oh okay. <laughs> what? No, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Was that not it? Also group, group photo contradicts hope? Oh no. Uh Huh? No, what the fuck? Oh shit. What? What am I It's locker book, other locker book, group photo. Photo of Kyoko and Headmaster, but like that's specifically for Kyoko. Why would that inspire anyone else? The Master's e handbook. They're both smiling. I don't. What am I contradicting right now? Everyone's dot dot dot? Dude, I only have. I'm like, I have like one health left. I'm just gonna fire like crazy then. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if this if someone cares about Kyoko and the headmaster. It wouldn't be the final episode. Okay. So you're saying you are literally you are saying to yourself, none of your evidence makes sense, right? Yeah. What is another thing you can do? Well, I can like scan the thing, but like the only thing, what I scan dot dot dot. I'm trying to remember what was the other. Th oh, my hope. Oh, and I just shoot that, everyone? That's stupid. Makoto. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's stupid. Not shooting group photo at home. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like, hey, friends, remember uh, remember how we're, we all had memories together? For. Yeah, that's, but that's they, the Undertale like shit. knocking over the head like, you plant the seeds of hope. All my fortune-telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. Ah. But to leave, uh, to live means moving forward, right? So even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? I want to keep on living. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me. So that's why. That's why. No matter what, I need to get out of here. The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore. What matters is my own gut feelings. Good for you, Yasuhiro. Alright, anyway. Uh. Okay, got it. Hope, 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 hope. I mean, this is cute. I get it. I get it. You can circle. You can do circle though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like making sure I don't accidentally skip it. Uh, yeah. I've been thinking about all this, and I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura do? You only get stronger by taking advers uh, adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. That sounds like something she'd say, right? No, I think that's definitely what she'd say. Which is why I, I, yeah, I've made up my mind. Great. Okay, we won't give up. There's hope. Okay. <laughs> Who's next? Is it Toko? Or is it Byakuya? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Actually, I may not look like it, but I've always hated school. Hell, no matter how I look, still hate it. <laughs> oh, but no matter what, Master has to come along with us. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is why I'm scared of holding oh, up oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
See, this feels very Undertale. Have you played Undertale? Yeah. Yeah. That's why. But I, that's why I thought the group photo was the initial thing, because like that made more sense to me. But I was like, oh yes, the obviously the mechanics. The mechanics of this game is not memorable <laughs> to me, at least, uh, or memorably painful. But. What's what's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the Mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead, because I'm still alive. Oh shit. So until I can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known. So... But like, Kyoko's the only one. Okay. Also, the music changed. I'm digging this track. Oh, cool! <laughs> Oh, everyone's saying new stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even know that. <laughs> Let me go back to the beginning for the viewers. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry yeah, about yeah, that, yeah. guys. I, I, I was, I was like, well, you should, uh, you should have just hold me because I was like ready to just skip everything. No, 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 and you noticed. So I was like, okay, yeah, yeah let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It okay. also makes sense to do it now. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And also you lose a heart, you know, on the way out. Sure, 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 sure. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die. That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <sighs> I've decided to have faith in myself. By the way, the outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Say whatever you want. I've made my decision. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. I can keep on living as long as I have my master's love. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside where only death and despair are waiting. I already said I would claim the mastermind's life by whatever means necessary. So, what are you going to do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Okay, go go. Ah! <laughs> Group photo. <laughs> I didn't really know my father, so I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. I can't explain why exactly, but if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just because we don't know, we don't actually know anything, does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that? No, never mind. So, Makoto, I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. You came here to confront despair without ever giving up. And if that's true, I think we can call you the ultimate hope. What do you think? What the? What the hell are you? The ultimate hope. <laughs> Makoto's just like, all right, sounds pretty okay. good. All right, I, yeah, I, 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 I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, so uncool. I think it's pretty cool. Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other. It's all so uncool, so unhip. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Lame, 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 lame. I'm not any kind of elite anything. Hope isn't a talent you develop, but, but still, but I still. Oh, I was like, another, another one, please, no. Uh, uh. You suck. What oh. do you want? So uncool. You dare to stand against us? Hope is a joke. Outside is only despair. Who are you? Your idiocy ends here, 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 here. Oh, God. You're gross. You're scared, aren't you? Suffer from despair. I just love despair. Yummy. You suck. What do you want? So uncool. 
You're unbearable, bearable, 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 bearable. Oh, God, hope it's a joke. Outside is only despair. Who are you? Would you like to die? You're gross. You're scared, aren't you? Suffer from despair. Oh. Everything is pointless. Suffer from despair. You did a stand up. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. No, 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 Despair into tomorrow, into your memories, into nothingness! I refuse to give up. I refuse to get bored. I refuse to throw it all away. I refuse to despair. Because all I have going for me is the desire to keep moving forward. What's going on? What's happening? Anime, motherfucker. Ooh. Oh, wait. Does that mean I can't do Gachapon anymore if I leave? Hold on a second. Uh, let me rewind this. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we've reached the end. I think it may be time to vote. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing. With our own hands. <laughs> no shit. The hell? You've lost, Junko. I lost? I lost? Me? No way. It can't be! You still don't accept it? Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair, it would seem. But there's no use trying to fight it now. Well, that's just... Totally the best! Okay. Huh? This... This is despair. We came to the school two years ago, created our incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. To come this far and fail at the very end? It's the most ultimately ultimate despair! What are you talking about? Don't you see? I was so hopelessly desperate, I was bored of the world the moment I was born. That's why I've been looking forward to this so desperately, this once-in-a-lifetime experience. It is my first and last colossal despair here at the moment of death. To have the chance to taste of the highest grade despair, the utter failure of my dreams. Ah, I am so hopelessly happy right now. Wait, is she enjoying this? Anyway, so are you prepared to admit defeat? <laughs> you think I care whether I won or lost? Either way, it doesn't change a thing. Outside is only despair. Inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. That's not true. You're wrong. Huh? Let me tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. Because we've decided to enter the outside world with hope. Yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. <laughs> Everyone. Mina. <laughs> you said that despair is as contagious as any disease. But the same is true of hope. All of you have to do is look at us to see how true that is. K Kyoko. Ah, uh, stop it, stop. I hate those faces you're making. To see those awful looks causes me nothing but pain. Fine. Let me just say one last thing. If you guys want to get all hung up on the world on the word hope, that's no skin off my nose. But just be warned. From this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. No matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe you'll find some hope. But there's a very fine line dividing that hope from bitter despair. Knowing that you still plan to cling to your hope. Of course, because we. Shut up, shut up! That was a rhetorical question. You interrupted my monologue. I'm almost done, though, so whatever. 
Because it's almost punishment time, right? Do you really intend to go through with this? That was the agreement, right? Uh, hold on. It's not like I want you to die. You don't have to... Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! What? How many times do I have to tell you? The act of living brings me no hope at all. All I want now is to taste that despair of death that you only get once in life. So, don't get in my way. <laughs> so this is how the despair of death feels. Ah, it's so wonderful. Even a tenth of this despair, even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay, let's do this. I've reserved an extra special punishment for last. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! <laughs> Oh, oh God! Hey, here we oh, go. They're just walking. They're like, hey, let's go for a walk. Whoa! Baseball, a circus? T oh, it's like every. Every punishment. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko Enoshima, the ultimate despair. Life at Hope's Peak Academy. It was all over. Woo! <laughs> Man. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. The air purifiers turned off, just like Junko said. They shut off immediately. That was the only difference. Oh god. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I felt almost absent-minded. This is our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck there in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But in the end... No. We can't just stand around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto, would you do the honors? Okay. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we'd gotten. Up until the moment of her death, it had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. B but is that really it? Is that really the key to this door? You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. I'm sure you all die horrible death. <laughs> I will force you out. She said that just before dropping that. 
it makes sense that it would be our way out of here. But you never know. Maybe it's actually a switch that's going to make the school self-destruct. I mean, Juko never said specifically that she let us leave here alive. You may be right about that. Maybe. But even so, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. If something ever happened to Master, I take my scissors and jam them so far up. <laughs> huh? Hey, where's the courtroom? Oh, where's the master? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over. We're just about to leave the school. What? Leave? We can go outside? Then that means me and master can get married? And then he'll give me a little jewel of a baby? Please stop. That would be a greater horror than anything I've encountered so far. Anyway, don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. If that's what ha if that if it's what happens after we get out, I'm worried about. Uh, you know, in the end, I think part of me still thinks maybe when we get out there, we'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. Then the other side of this door is a world as peaceful as we remember. A lie, peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we're meant to live. Yeah, I guess so. And how do I put how do I put this? Unlike this school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair no matter what. But there's also ha there also has to be lots of hope, right? The act of searching for hope to try and find it, that by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter what trouble you may fall into. Is that what you mean, Makoto? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. You know, Junko mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Togami dynasty. I'll go with you. I'll follow you anywhere you want to go. Well, my first stop is going to be the closest donut shop. I can figure out the rest from there. And what are you going to do if there are no more donut shops? Or donuts. I'll just get some flour and make some myself. And if there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. I, I, I get it now. If there's no road, you just gotta build one. Creation. Fate is telling me to remake the world. That's my hope. I've reached the next stage. The next chapter of Yasuhiro Hagakure's life story is about to begin. The worst book in the world. <laughs> Thanks, Hina. You totally opened my eyes. Hey, 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 personal space, buddy. You're seriously creeping me out. Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone in the outside world is gone, even if the world is steeped in despair, as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. If we can get out, of here, out there and do something, have some sort of impact. But what can we do? There's so few of us, and we're so small. So what can we do? No, we can probably do anything. Yeah, we can do anything. Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we might as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys, you guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime? You just let me know. I'll be there. You know how much I hate being annoyed, but if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a b burning desire to start writing. I might be able to pull it off. A story about the master and me, and the others, I guess. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we graduated? It looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up, I have to push even harder. I'm going to keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. The door began to open. With my hands, with our hands. Hope and despair mingled together 
opening the door to the future. I thought the turrets were just gonna like shoot them. Oh god. That would be incredibly nihilistic. Yeah, I'd be like, I don't know, I don't know if that's a kind of, that kind of game. Maybe that's why people like it so much. Not my type of of me theme, Ming. Um Okay. Okay. Let the credits play out. Uh, and that's Dongus Rongus. Wow. Well, what'd you think? That was a lot of fun. How how is there a second one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are two others. Oh yeah, there's a third one. Oh my goodness. Um Wow. It's it's um Oh, if Fumi was Kape Yamaguchi, that, yes, yes. that's crazy. Okay. Um, but makes sense. Uh, um, yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed it. Wow. Uh, um, really fun. Uh, I don't know, just just the machinations of it all, like the structure and the plot of it all and yeah. the characters. Mm -hmm. I really am surprised how I never played this. Like, Yeah, I, I was like, this is Jay all over it. I, I feel like this is, yeah, this is something very much my alley. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This is our first long playthrough, and obviously after this, we'll take a little break from the long games. But I mean, listen, you want to play two at some point, right? Yeah, at some point. Yeah, at some like, point. I, I definitely need a break. Oh no, no, we'll definitely yeah. take a break. But I want to, I want to, I want to let the memories of this game and all the characters just like digest in me for yeah. a bit longer. In the meantime, uh, please don't spoil uh, <laughs> any, especially two and three. I don't think you'll. I think you'll be fine though, because I feel like, I feel like with this one, like honestly, like when when Junko died in one I played, I was like, yeah, what? She's so popular. Like, yeah, yeah. Why did she die so quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, is this like uh, one of those things where it's just the design is really popular or something like that? Um, I thought for this kind of game it was too specific. So I was like, this, there's definitely a fake out here. So I was waiting for Junko to at least make some form of appearance again. Mm -hmm. But I, at some point, I was like. Maybe she's not coming back. Mm, yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah. like, okay. But then the red nails on Mukuro's body, I was like, oh my god. That's it. Like, right. so. Um, Do you know anything about the other two? I know there's a rabbit. Okay. That's all I know. Well, that's, okay. I, and I know, that I, I, again, I've seen some characters before. Like, I've seen the, the, I think they have a green trench coat and really crazy white hair that's like, Shooting out in multiple directions. Okay. I think. Okay. Um, I, I, I know that character is popular, I think, but I don't know. I know nothing about the plot. Because again, I'm like, how is there a second one after this? Mm -hmm. um, whether it's another another sick, twisted game or like, uh, yeah, is the Ultimate Despair truly just Junko and Mukuro or is it really a big group and there are multiple people and Junko, Junko and Mukuro were just another part of Ultimate Despair, right? Like, um, I like that they have this close-up of soccer. Yeah. <laughs> like um, you don't just you need to see this. Yeah. <laughs> um, man. But yeah, that's all. I don't know nothing. I don't know much yeah, about. Yeah. Um, just don't look. Games. Don't. I would say, for now, don't look up like Danganronpa Wiki. Don't look up Danganronpa <laughs> Google image searching. Just. Uh, just yeah. Until we've played through, uh, we should. Uh, you should probably be careful. Um, when did we start this? When did we start this game? Yeah. Us? Oh, I, I yeah, yeah. Down. Um, we started it technically. Oh wait, no, I don't have. Oh no, uh, like back end of May. End of May? Yeah. Oh yeah, that, wait, that was my birthday. That's right. That's right. Birthday, yeah. Wow. So yeah, we we um have been playing this for well like about about two months ish. Maybe yeah, less yeah, than two yeah, months, yeah. But. By the time this comes out, though, this actually went by faster than I thought. Um, mm. I think what also helped was the the first day we we played like twelve episodes. The first that's day. true, that's true. And which, if you ever want to do that again, that was pretty fun. I think like, for, the, for like the beginning, because it's, now I understand the pacing of these games. I'm yeah. like, okay, I have to expect like there's gonna be a long ass intro for the next. Obviously, obviously new cast, right? And like setting up whatever this new world is. So, mm. um, but man, favorite character. Favorite character. 
Let's say top three. Um, top three. Uh, Sakura number one. Yep. Obviously, Sakura is amazing. She's the best. Yep. Um, I like Hina. I don't yep. know. I'm, Hina's I, great. Yeah, Hina's yeah. great. Um, might be Chihiro Alter Ego. It's a tie between Chihiro Alter Ego. Uh, and um, Junko is great. I think Junko is great. Junko is wonderful. Yeah. Um, um, but uh, cl- fourth and fifth is definitely uh, Byakuya and Kyoko are definitely up there. Mm. Um, yeah. I think for me, it's like I love Sakura. I love Kyoko. I love Monokuma. Well, I, guess, oh, yeah. I guess that's kind of Junko as well. Yeah. Oh. What? I'm picking up the controller again. <laughs> Interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And I am your... I am this school's... Headmaster! What? What? Well. Hmm. Interesting. Well, well that ends. Um. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we should also say, before we go, thank you, Cynthia, for sending thank in this game. Thank you for game. sending this game in. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I think one of my favorite playthroughs we've definitely done on the channel, and I think I hope all of you enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, like before you ask, we will definitely be playing two and three in the future, but we're going to take be taking a break. I for need a break. A I need a long break. We're going we're gonna to take a break, <laughs> but rest assured, we will definitely, I think at this point you're, you're kind of hooked, right? I, I like yeah. the game. Yeah. yeah we're yeah. definitely going to play two and three in the future. So look out for those. Otherwise, uh, just keep on staying subbed and watch our shit and we'll, uh, uh, see you in the next one. Thank Bye, you for everybody. the support. Bye guys. Hoo, hoo, hoo.